everybody. Hi guys. And welcome to Southern Bells. Southern Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're just going to pop in today and show mm -hmm. you a quick recipe. Well, I say quick. It's easy. Let's, let's yeah, it it's easy. easy. And it's really good for, you know, a, win a night when you just want some comfort food. And it's, it really is very tasty, too. It, uh -huh. Everybody in our family likes it, which is always a, a plus. You know, right, that's hard to achieve in our family. <laughs> we have a picky eater, but even he likes this. So, um, we're going to start out. This is a chicken casserole. Uh huh. Okay, or chicken pie, actually. It's a right. chicken pie. I don't know, down here in the South, we call everything pie. Macaroni pie, chicken pie. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, we're going to start out with some chicken that I have already Cooked. We have about three cups here. And this recipe comes from a lovely family that Rebecca stayed with when she was a baby. Uh, when I taught school, she stayed with a Mennonite family. Mm -hmm. And boy, could they cook. Oh, yeah. And one of the fundraisers that they had every year was selling a cookbook to help their church. And of course, I wanted one. <laughs> I wanted two, actually. I got two different ones. And this is where that recipe comes from. It's kind of interesting because mm -hmm. there are recipes in there to feed five or six hundred people. <laughs> I haven't used those yet. Not yet. <laughs> but I did use this one. Cool. Now, I have to admit, being a busy mom as the children were growing up, mm -hmm. I took shortcuts a lot of times. Now, the original recipe says to cook a chicken. All right? Well, <laughs> my shortcut, and there's nothing wrong with this, if you are busy, this is a wonderful way to cut some time down. Mm -hmm. What I do is I get frozen chicken tenders at Walmart. I think they're mm -hmm. Tyson. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're Tyson. But they're just the frozen chicken tenders. You don't even have to thaw them out. Throw them in your crock pot, cover them with water, mm -hmm. turn on low, and there's your cooked chicken. Yep. You don't even have to heat up the house either. You cook it in your crock pot. So that's what I did here, and I took the chicken tenders out, and I cut them up, and there's about three cups of chicken, chicken here, yeah. and I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to put it in my casserole dish. It's going to be your bottom layer, and my hands are clean. <laughs> Both of our hands are clean. Yes. And I'm just going to spread it out. Okay. Now, I do salt and pepper each layer, like when I was cooking the, the chicken, I salted and peppered it. Um, and there will be a little bit additional salt and pepper in here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you, um, if you are on high blood pressure medicine or whatever, you're probably not going to want to put as much salt, as much salt in yeah. here. So you can do that to taste. But this is all it is. This is, um, I believe this is an 8 by 11. Mm -hmm. It is. Or 9, yeah, 8 by, no, this is a 9 by 13. Excuse me, this is a 9 by 13 pan. But really, excuse me, <laughs> I have the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> really, you can... Um, adjust it to whatever size you want to make. Uh -huh. You know. Okay, so the chicken is in here, and I have some chicken broth, a cup and a half, and I'm going to let Rebecca pour that into this dish. Now, I actually mixed a half a cup of the chicken broth that I cooked the chicken in with a, a cup of prepared broth that I bought, mm -hmm. but you can do it however you want to do it. And now we're going to take this can of cream of chicken soup. And again, I know a lot of people may be averse to this, but it really thickens it up and adds flavor. It does. Um, and just to be honest, we use cream of chicken. It may not be the healthiest, but we, we use it in a lot of our recipes. Uh -huh. So um, we're just going to dump that into the chicken broth. And I'm going to let Rebecca mix it up. Got the whisk. I'm ready to. Oops, I gotta get all the goodness out of there. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Okay. And you want it pretty smooth. Should we tell them my exciting news? Yes. You want to tell, tell them? them? You tell so them. I got a job as a 4K teacher here recently. So starting the next school year, I will be teaching 4K full-time. Mm -hmm. full time. And she's still doing her ch uh, children's job at the church. Yes. And she ha she actually has a um, blogging job, too, online. Uh -huh. that she, I stay busy. <laughs> she writes um, art articles uh -huh. and edits 
for the blog and everything, so it's pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, now this is an addition that we added, I don't know, maybe four Three or five or times ago. Yeah. Um, we didn't do this at first, but we just got uh, some frozen mixed vegetables, about a cup's worth, and we're going to put on top of there. The original recipe didn't call for it, but... Yeah, and this is like green beans and corn and um, carrots. Yeah. You could probably also add like potatoes in there. It would probably be good. Anything anything you want. Mm -hmm. Maybe broccoli. Broccoli could be good yeah. in there. Okay, okay, so now she's going to pour the broth and the cream of chicken soup over that. Are we done with the We are. Okay. I think. If not, I'll rinse it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pour it on top of the chicken. And I'm just going to try to even it out as much as possible. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, the really good stuff. We are going to mix up the crust to go on top. So we're going to start out with one cup of flour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So we got one cup of flour. One cup of flour. And we have two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, and we do need the, need the whisk actually. So she's going to whisk that together. Okay. And while she's whisking, I'm going to be adding another ingredient. Okay. And then she's going to add the salt and pepper. There's one teaspoon salt and a half teaspoon pepper. And of course, that's really to taste. I mean, it does call for that, but if you want more or less, then you probably can do that. Okay. So that's combined really well and now you're okay. going to add your liquid ingredients. We have one cup milk and one one stick of butter melted. Okay. So really very basic ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry. That's the good thing about southern cooking. I feel like it uses a lot of ingredients that you already have. Yeah. in your pantry. It doesn't use a lot of strange ingredients or no, maybe not strange isn't the right word, but um, hard to find or unique ingredients. Now we're probably not keto friendly or vegan friendly or any of that. You know, <laughs> it's just That's okay. We eat good anyway. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Can you okay. show them what the mixture looks like? So the mixture is going to be slightly grainy and it's going to have kind of a Do it. You see your pepper flakes and different things. Yeah. And now we're just going to pour that out on top of what we already have in here. And it's okay if it doesn't cover the entire yeah. mixture. It'll spread once you cook it. It's always nice to have two cooks in the kitchen. It is. <laughs> And it's almost going to be like a biscuit-like Yeah, that's, that's what it reminds me of, a biscuit. Mm -hmm. Like a good savory biscuit. And I got that pretty well. I think so. That was good to me. Maybe a little bit more. I always try to get every table spoon. Uh, <laughs> get all the food you can out of it. Okay. okay. And I'm just going to spread it a little bit. But like Rebecca said, you don't have to cover it. And we have the oven preheated over here at 425. And we are going to pop this in for 35 to 40 minutes. We'll check it after 35 and see if it needs to go longer. But actually in our oven, 35 is usually pretty good. Right what yeah. we need. Okay. Cool. So really, that is all of the ingredients. So again, you probably have most of these in your pantry. Uh -huh. To save time, use those frozen chicken tenders and cook them in your crock pot. Um, really, it doesn't take but maybe three to four hours on low. And if you want to turn it on, on high, you know, even less right. time. Um, probably chopping the chicken is the most time-consuming mm -hmm. thing that you do. So, all right, we're going to pop this in the oven, and we will be with you when we bring it out. Awesome, let's get started. And here's the final product. Yay! It's almost time to eat and enjoy. It smells so good. It smells heavenly. 
so we're going to dip into it. All right, so I'm going to take this spoon and just get a nice chunk of it out. Oops. Let me get some of the veggies. All right. You want to show them? I'm going to put a little bit more of the good stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> that good crust. Yeah, so you've got vegetables, you've got gravy, you've got your bread. You've got protein. Yeah, and um, probably we're going to serve this, and it's going to be real southern. We're yeah. going to serve this with some turnip greens. And some fresh tomato. Fresh just, tomato. just slices of tomato right out of the garden. And then I've got a fresh watermelon, too, that Yum. we'll have at the end. So That's summer in the south. There you go. That's what we love. Uh-huh. It's good stuff. So I will have the recipes below if anybody would like to try this. And... Until next time, we hope you have a great week. If you plan to try it, let us know in the comments. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you. What you think of it. Mm -hmm. so. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.